Website creation can often feel daunting, especially when you start considering costs. Buying a domain can range from a few dollars to hundreds, depending on the name and extensions you choose. On top of that, monthly hosting fees can add up, which makes it seem like a big investment before you've even published your first page. But what if we told you that there's a simpler, cost-effective solution? Imagine not having to spend much to get your ideas online and showcase your work without the usual financial burden tied to website hosting. Now, let's get into our recommended method for hosting a website. This approach makes it easier than ever to launch your personal projects or portfolio without breaking the bank. Ready to find out how? Let's get started. Before anything else, you'll need a Google account. Now, you might already have one, but we recommend creating a separate account just for your website. Why? Because keeping personal and website-related things apart makes it easier to manage. Think of it like organizing different drawers for different items. It just makes life simpler. So, here's what you do. Open your Chrome browser, click on your profile icon at the top right corner, and select Add Account. Choose Create Account and fill out the form with your details. Make sure you remember your login credentials because we'll use this account throughout the process. Once that's done, you're ready to move on. Next, let's make sure your website files are ready. This method works best for static websites, those where the content doesn't change unless you manually edit the files. For example, a personal portfolio with an index.html file, some images, and maybe a CSS file for styling. If you already have these files, great. If not, don't worry. You can start small by creating a basic index.html file with some simple text and an image. Here's a quick example. Let's say you're a photographer and want to showcase your work. You could have an index.html file that displays your best shots and a contact email. The main thing is to ensure your primary file is named index.html. Why? Because that's the default file browsers look for when someone visits your site. Now comes the fun part, uploading your website files to Google Drive. Head over to drive.google.com and sign in with the account you just created. Start by creating a new folder for your website. Here's a tip. Name the folder after your website's domain, like www.yoursite.com. It might not seem important now, but trust us, it'll make things smoother if you decide to get a custom domain later. Once the folder is ready, open it and drag and drop all your website files into it. It's that simple. Once everything is uploaded, the next step is to make this folder public. Right-click on the folder, choose Share, and adjust the settings so that anyone with the link can view it. This step is crucial because without it, your site won't be accessible to others. With your files in place, it's time to make your site live on the internet. For this, we'll use a free tool called drv.web.ap. It's a simple platform that connects your Google Drive folder to a live URL. Open a new tab in your browser, type in drv.web.app and hit enter. Once there, select the option to host your site using Google Drive. When prompted, log in with your Google account and grant the necessary permissions. The platform will generate a URL for your site. Click it and there you go. Your website is now live. It's really that straightforward and it's free. At this point, you can share the link with friends, family or anyone you want to show your site to. Now let's talk about something that can trip you up, images. Sometimes, images on your site might not display correctly when hosted on Google Drive. This happens because of how Google handles file permissions. But don't worry, fixing it is easy. Let's say you have an image on your site called photo.jpg that isn't loading. First, find that image file on your computer and upload it to a free image hosting service like IMGBB. Once uploaded, copy the HTML link provided by IMGBB. Next, go back to your Google Drive folder and download your index.html file. Open the file in a text editor, Notepad works fine, and locate the code for the missing image. Replace the old image link with the new one from IMGBB. Save the file and upload it back to Google Drive, overwriting the old version. Refresh your site, and the image should now display correctly. Once your site is live, you might want to make changes or add new content. For example, maybe you're a writer and want to add a new article to your portfolio. The good news is that updating your site is just as easy as setting it up. All you need to do is download the HTML file you want to update, make your changes, 
and upload the updated version back to Google Drive. This replaces the old file with the new one, and your changes will be reflected on the live site. It's that simple, and it keeps your site fresh and relevant. Now let's take your website to the next level. By default, the URL you get from Google Drive looks a bit long and random, right? If you want something more professional like www.yourname.com, you can set up a custom domain. It's not free, but it's an affordable way to make your site look polished and credible. The first step is to purchase a domain name. Head to a domain registrar like Google Domains or another provider you trust. Search for the name you want, try to keep it simple and relevant to your site works well. Once you find an available domain, follow the steps to buy it. Most providers let you register a domain for a year at a time, so it's a low commitment investment. Once you have your domain, the next step is connecting it to your website on Google Drive. Don't worry if this sounds technical, it's easier than it seems. First, log into your domain provider's account and find the DNS settings or domain management section. Here, you'll add a record that links your domain to your Google Drive hosted site. Now, go back to drv.web.app and copy the URL it gave you for your website. In your DNS settings, create a new CNAME record. Under Name, enter www and in the target or destination field, paste the URL from drv.web.app. Make sure to remove the HTTPS part at the beginning. It's not needed here. Save your changes, and that's it. It might take a few hours for the changes to take effect, so don't worry if your domain doesn't work immediately. Once it's live, anyone who types in your custom domain will be directed straight to your site. Your website is live and it's connected to your new domain. But what happens when you need to make updates or add new content? Maintaining your site is straightforward with Google Drive. For example, let's say you want to update your portfolio with new work. Download the HTML file from Google Drive, edit it using your preferred text editor, and save it. Then, upload the updated file back to the same folder on Google Drive, replacing the old version. Within moments, your site will reflect the new changes. This flexibility is one of the biggest perks of hosting on Google Drive. It gives you control without needing to hire a developer. While this method is pretty reliable, there are a few quirks to keep in mind. One common issue is broken links or missing images. Like we mentioned earlier, this can happen because of Google's file permissions. If you face this, double check that your folder is set to anyone with the link. For images, rehosting them on a platform like IMGBB and replacing the links in your HTML file should do the trick. Another thing to note is that Google Drive hosting might not be the fastest option. If your site feels a bit sluggish, try optimizing your files. Compress your images, minify your CSS and JavaScript, and remove any unnecessary code. These small changes can make a big difference in how quickly your site loads. Before we wrap up, let's touch on why this method stands out. It's free, it's beginner-friendly, and it gives you complete control over your website files. For anyone just starting out or experimenting with web development, this is a fantastic way to learn the basics. You're not locked into expensive hosting plans, and you can take your time building and refining your site. That said, it's not perfect. It's best suited for static sites, and there are limitations with speed and customization. But for what it offers, free hosting with up to 15 gigabytes of storage, it's an option worth exploring. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to hosting your website for free on Google Drive. We've covered everything from setting up your Google account to troubleshooting issues and even connecting a custom domain. Hopefully this tutorial makes the process clear and encourages you to give it a try. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this. And if you have any questions or want to share your experience, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.